Just a reminder that Kate Middleton almost had a major wardrobe malfunction at Princess Eugenie's wedding. It was Princess Eugenie's royal wedding on Friday, October 12, but all eyes were on Kate Middleton for a very embarrassing reason. The Duchess of Cambridge got dangerously close to having a major wardrobe malfunction thanks to the dramatic gusts of wind at Street George's Chapel. The wind was 21 miles per hour on Eugenie's big day in Windsor, England and it nearly blew Kate's stunning magenta dress up, Marilyn Monroe style. Luckily, the hem stopped just above the knee so we never caught a glimpse of Prince William's wife's unmentionables, and she seemed to laugh it off while smoothing out her pleats. It looks like Sophie, Countess of Wessex, also had an eye out for Kate, as she looked horrified just as Kate prevented the mishap. Kate was wearing a fusion Alexander McQueen dress and topped off the look with a matching Philip Tracy fascinator. While Kate's over-the-top hat seemed stuck like glue to her head, many of the other guests struggled to keep theirs on in the wind. Several of the female guests were forced to hold down their dresses and cling to their toppers for dear life. And then there's poor little Louis de Givenchy who was a page boy at the wedding along with Prince George. Little Louis totally face-planted while trying to climb the stairs to the chapel. It's unclear if he was blown over or simply tripped, but it looks like he was in the midst of a gust of wind when the accident happened. One person who seemed completely impervious to the blustering weather was the bride, Princess Eugenie herself who looked nothing but perfect arriving to the chapel and leaving with new husband Jack Brooks Bank. Literally, not one hair on her lovely head was out of place. Congratulations to the happy couple.